Malachim Rabotai, peace unto you. I'm Rabbi Kaba, explaining wisdom in the ancient Jewish Talmud that you can use in your modern life. We're studying the Darim, that's vowels, on page 18. And our sages discuss that when we're interpreting vowels and there's room for doubt, or there's a situation of doubt, then an example would be if a man walks by and there's two guys sitting on the porch and they say, oh, I know that man, that's Jim. And the other guy says, no, that's not Jim. So the first guy says, if that's Jim, I take a vow to be a Nazir. And the second guy says, if that's not Jim, I'll take a vow to be Nazir. They're both very sure of their opinion. And then they go to try to find that guy and they can't catch up to him. So they don't know if he's Jim or not. So there's a doubt. So our sages rule that if it's a monetary matter, like they vowed to give charity, then that's binding out of doubt. But if it's a vow that affects their physical well-being, such as being a Nazir, who, as we mentioned yesterday, was not allowed to drink wine or take a haircut, then we do not make him become a Nazir out of doubt. And it's a reminder that we typically, the normal human situation is we value our own personal being more than our property. We take more care with our health than with our, the washing our car, for instance. This is typical. Now we do see people who reverse priorities and they're very meticulous with their possessions and maybe a little more careless with their own personal demeanor. Now, it's an interesting way to judge people you interact with. If these people, you know, they're very particular to take care of themselves or their own possessions, their own property, but they're careless with you, with your feelings or with paying you proper respect or attention, or they're careless with your property, then that really gives you a clue about how they feel about you. Even if someone says they respect you and look up to you, but they don't treat you that way then that really lets you know what's going on. So it's important to evaluate people who are in your life, who are your partners, business associates, about how they treat themselves and how they treat you and see if those, those levels are comparable. Some people treat themselves very well, but don't give the time of day to other people. And other people, they might treat themselves not so well, but they hold other people in high respect. And that's an interesting thing to observe. And some people are very fair and they will treat others the way they also want to be treated. Be well, be blessed.